Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you um, a guide for tweet development. I was 13 to 14 for complete uh, beginners. So I know there's a lot of people out there, um, including me, who actually want to learn how to create tweets. You're just like, I don't know where to start. There's so much within there are. I mean, creating, creating a tweet is not easy. It takes time, it takes practice, and it's a new skill. So if you don't know how to code, you've never coded before. Um, I coded a couple times, but I'm not too good with it or too familiar. Um, but I'm just, yeah, you because know, I'm, I'm a beginner too. So it's kind of just hard to get into, hard to learn. And this is basically just a great guide for, you know, beginners who want to create tweets and who are interested in creating tweets. So this is um, a tweet developer and they're making a, they made a guide on how to create tweets. So this guy covers, you know, creating a tweet template, uh, teaching basic code while making a tweet, creating your first tweet, how to make a preference bundle for tweets, basic knowledge, how to carry on after the tutorial, what you need and advice on how to learn. So you could, um, if there's any errors or any issues, you could drop them, you know, on Twitter, uh, DM them, or just, you know, email them. So, um, pretty cool. So, as you can go to, you can be found here, tap on the link, and it can bring you right here. So, a tweak, a guided tweet development, if I was 13 and 14, read the readme file. So, here's right here, such a one introduction. Um, so, you want to learn how to get started with iOS tweet development. Let's hope this guy will make it much easier for you to do. Much. Uh, so, you make sure you have a Mac, and then let's get started. Um, you need a MacBook or iMac. The tutorial is not for people who don't own a Mac. So you guys do need a Mac. Step one. Um, let me list the things required to get started with this tweet development, which we need to set up. Theos, a Mac or Windows environment that lets you create a tweet template that lets you compile your tweets. You need Xcode. Um, install, you can install, the, you install Xcode off the App Store. And the Mac will be prompted to install Xcode 12, which breaks compiling for ARM64E, iPhone, etc. and above. This is due to the Xcode 12 2 chain. Lucky for you, I have created a bash script that lets you swap the two chains easily without um, typing the, uh, out the command yourself and run your Xcode. Do not uh, do not use the script um, until prompted to do so. Uh, code editing software. So I used to use Atom and just brilliant, but now um, it heat up my Mac a lot, so I switched to sub sublime uh, tests. Another good one is Visual Studio Code. Objective C knowledge would help, but it's not necessary as we shall learn. On the way, Homebrew is the missing package manager that is required for tweet development on Mac OS and many other things. The latest SDK, SDKs are what you allow to compile your tweets. So you can see there's, there's a lot, you know, a lot of knowledge, a lot of tools you need, uh, a lot of resources. So it's not easy doing this, okay? That's why people are like, oh, just update it. It's not that hard. It, it takes time. And if you don't know what you're doing, and, you know, a lot of developers are learning as they go. So that's why there's a lot of buds and glitches with, you know, Cydia and tweets. Because we learn, you know, as we go. And a lot of people learn from mistakes. So, you know, it's just like, oh, this tweak isn't, you know, it's not working. Then you, you know, update, you try to mess around with it. And you find out what the problem is. You find out how to update and how to fix it. So, now you have to understand what we need to create a tweak. Let's use some simple terminology within the tweak development that most developers should know. If you already know these, you may skip it. So, iPhone chips, for example, a 12, a 13, a 14. Templates for the tweaks. We make some tweet template. You will be presented with four files. Uh, tweak.ets, plist, make file, control file. Your tweak.ets is where the whole main code goes for your tweak. All you're hooking into uh, methods, your plist files where you target your tweak. You want to hide the doc, you will target com.apple.springboard because of that where the doc is located on the springboard. Um, so target all sections of your phone, like an app. Um, and at the home screen, you can either use two plist, like uh, com.apple.springboard, you know, the bundle ID of an app, or you can... Um, you are located in many places on the apps um, on your phone. The most realistic case would be to use com.apple.uikit, which targets everything. But don't worry, this means that uh, if you want to change the doc, that it will change everything. It means that you are able to hook it into anywhere, or uh, everywhere. Uh, but none of these I mean, I know about how to create new files through Terminal. Um, so the boring parts, now we look at the juicier section of the tweet development. So on Theos, and everything you need to create a tweak, follow the steps below. For Theos Homebrew, and then um, after you install it, you need to run a script that uh, I created, which can be found on my GitHub name, Xcode 11 Toolchain. It fixes the compiling for ARM64E, like we talked about earlier. <clears throat> Tells you how to do that. Download in the SDKs, go in your name and finder, uh, create a tweak template. So <laughs> it's so much work, you guys. You, you see, just looking at this, it's like, wow, this is. Even for me, this is too much for me. Like, that's why I don't do this stuff. Because it's just... I just don't have time to sit down and get to learn this stuff. But it's a great... Um, I think it's really cool to do this stuff. And that's it's a great skill to, you know, to learn and have. Um, so, you see... This is so much. Like, it's crazy, you know. But that's the thing about 
tweak development and coding is that you do it and you do it and you do it and you get you get better and better and better at it. And it begins to be really hard and frustrating, but the more you do it, the more you learn from it. So this is your you know how you're starting basically, you know, how you start and you know, it's a, so much, like it's, it's crazy. But um yeah, I'll leave this link down in the description. I'll leave the um this page the Reddit down in the description so you can just go to here and then open up, you know, and learn um, you know, how to start you know for beginners to create your own tweets so now you know what uh, developers go through on a daily basis okay not easy especially when you create your own tweet from scratch yeah that that's and then you have to have like a device to test it out on and yeah it's it's a lot of work it's definitely and some developers don't get barely get paid for this stuff so i mean unless you're in a position where you could just you know not care about the money you make most people need money on a daily basis and this is one of the ways that if you could make a lot of money or you could spend so much time and make barely any money so that's why i always say support developers because they do a lot of work to make these tweets and especially when it only asks for a couple of dollars you got you know what i mean like it's not the, you know what i mean it's all the work they do it's definitely worth a couple of dollars especially if it's, a, if it's a great tweak and you use it a lot but you guys catching this one peace